Australia has just revealed a plan to revolutionize our electricity network by offering home batteries with remarkable discounts, thousands and thousands of dollars, totaling $2.3 billion, which could transform the 4 million homes with existing solar panels. But whilst this will be a remarkable transformation of our electricity grid, our grid is actually being transformed right now. It's just been revealed that wind and solar pushed renewable share to nearly 50% despite a record level of negative prices. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to have you with us. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Renewable energy supplied an average of 43% share of renewables on Australia's grid. And the Western Australian electricity market, so basically the entire grid in Australia, was 43%. The reason why, wind and solar. Unfortunately, we still did curtail or get rid of a lot of wind and solar because there was excess amounts of it during the day. But as more and more batteries are built across the country, the percentage of wind and solar being used here will drastic. I mean, put it this way, if tomorrow we stopped building out wind and solar farms and we stopped putting solar panels on people's roofs, we just banned it, it would still rise drastically the amount of wind and solar on the grid. And the reason is because we are building out an insane amount of batteries. In fact, over the next two years, the de battery deployments that are actually scheduled to be done in Australia will increase our existing battery numbers by 4,600%, which is insane. The latest data from Rystad Energy, both quarterly and monthly, as per reneweconomy.com.au, shows utility wind and PV assets generated 4.6 gigawatt hours or 4,601 gigawatt hours, I should say, for the month, a 12% increase on the same month in 2024. According to Rystad's David Dixon, the top performing wind and solar assets were located in Western Australia. Uh, although for the sheer scale, the most solar was produced in New South Wales and the most wind power in Victoria. The top three wind projects were located in Western Australia and the second best performing wind farm was actually located in Flat Rocks. Anyhow, these wind farms in Western Australia, there's a lot of wind there. I lived there for two years. They're doing extremely well. For solar, the best performing utility scale PV solar assets were located also in Western Australia. However, one interesting thing has been occurring. For the first quarter of 2025, there were big jumps in the amount of negative pricing on the wholesale electricity market. An increasingly common phenomenon, says Renew Economy, for electricity grids with, grids with large amounts of solar and wind, particularly rooftop solar. As you guys know, we have 4 million more than 4 million households here in Australia that have solar on them, which is quite a lot considering our population is only around 27 million. This happens when there is an oversupply of power during, usually during the middle of the day when it's sunny here in Australia and also when it's windy as well. And in addition to this, this means that coal-fired generators bid prices into the negative to avoid being shut down. So what that means is these coal power plants they're losing a lot of money during the day. And this is not just Australia. This is other countries. China's exactly the same position. During the middle of the day, these coal power plants that are in China and the ones that are in Australia and in many other countries, Germany, Spain, they are losing money during the middle of the day because in order to not shut down, they are basically paying, they, they're paying the grid to take their electricity. This points to a lack of storage and flexible load and inf insufficient transmission capacity to export to other regions. So the solution to this is being built out right now. That's new transmission lines. But in particular, even more important than that, big batteries being installed all over, all over Australia. Now, the other solution to this is, of course, this new battery subsidies being rolled out across the country, around about $4,000 discount on batteries. So the federal government is promising $4,000 for every for everyone who wants to install a battery, plus in New South Wales, you can get an extra discount of $2,000, meaning you can get a, a, a battery installed for about half price here in New South Wales. As the chart above shows, this was notable in South Australia where there were negative prices for 659 hours over the first three months of the year. 30% of the time, that means, the renewable economy says 30% of the time in the first three months of the year, 
electricity was in the negative. Now that is the most renewable grid in the world that comes primarily from man-made renewable sources, meaning solar and wind and batteries. In fact, South Australia is on track next year to hit 100% renewables. You can see here that it puts pressure on pricing. Victoria had a few big months of negative pricing, notching up a total of 517 hours, 24% of the time. 24% of the time, Victoria had negative prices for electricity. Will this mean your electricity prices will come down? Well, they will. They will eventually. Over the next few years, batteries will actually become like California. So in California, the number one source of electricity between 6 to 10 p.m. is batteries. And this will happen in Australia too over the next, probably by the end of 2027, maybe even by the end of 2026, we'll see batteries be the number one source. Now we are seeing that happen here already in Australia. At certain, at certain times, batteries have become the number one source of electricity in that, that peak period. But it'll happen all the time within the next 18 months to two years. And that's when electricity prices will, will be cheaper. But the best way to, for you to make a, a discount, to get a discount for your electricity, massive. And to save yourself probably around $120,000, depending on the size of your household, how much electricity you use, is to get a solar system. Get yourself a solar system. Get yourself a battery. The company that I'm using is called Resync Solar. I don't make any money, by the way, I'm telling you this, but Resync Solar, they will be installing my battery for me here uh, on Tuesday of this week, and I'll be getting an Anchor battery. But that's how you can save a lot of money. So I'll put a link in the description below to them. And as always, my friends, have a great day. And I'll see you on the next video. Fortescue, one of the largest mining companies in the world. In fact, this company owns incredible amounts of land. Here in Australia, they, have, they own 87,000 square kilometers of land. That's, that's bigger than the United Kingdom. They say the world can go 100% green, including mining operations, and that they will be completely green in, well, less than five years' time. The CEO, Twiggy Forrest, he is saying that actually burning fossil fuels is like cavemen basically bashing sticks together and throwing rocks around. It's just old and it's stupid. He says actually it's economically nonsensical. The company is about to make $1 billion from an historic electric truck deal. It has a contract for $2.7 billion worth of electric mining equipment, and it's discovered it's actually saving money by going green. Now, a lot of the people who, you know, uh, hate EVs and hate renewables, they're just, their brains are getting mashed. They're, they're literally losing their minds. They're saying, this guy is clearly corruption. It must be corruption. It's a scam. He's got some sort of scam going on here. But actually, none of that is correct. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. Won't this be amazing? Fortescue, a global mining metal company headquartered in Australia. They are focused on iron ore mining under the name Fortescue Metals Group. As of 2017, Fortescue is the fourth largest iron ore producer in the world. They're one of the biggest mining companies in the world.